let's talk about outdoor brand names that you've probably been mispronouncing your entire life. Hey gang, Ghost Mule here, and welcome back to my channel, Everyday Backpacker. And as I said, today we're going to talk a little bit about some brand names that you've probably been mispronouncing and didn't even know it. So for those of you that don't know, I've had the fortune of, for about the last decade, working in the outdoor retail industry. And in that job, I've had the opportunity to interact with a lot of different brands and a lot of different brand reps. And so I've been able to hear firsthand how they pronounce their uh, company's names. And on the flip side of that, I've also had the opportunity to interact with a lot of customers who have unknowingly mispronounced those names. And it happens on a pretty regular basis, almost daily. And this isn't necessarily their fault. They probably either honestly don't know how to pronounce it or they heard somebody on YouTube mispronounce it because people on YouTube are always right, right? Hmm. So I thought it would be fun to do a quick video and show you how I've learned to pronounce some of these companies' names. Now, quick caveat, this is just the name pronunciations that I've gotten from their reps. So if they are wrong, it's their fault. If you carry this brand of poles, you're carrying a pair of leakies. I most often hear this brand pronounced Marmot. It is actually pronounced Marmot, just like the animal. This German pack manufacturer almost universally gets called Duder, but it is actually pronounced Deuter. Interestingly enough, I've heard this brand called Katahdin, just like the mountain in Maine, but it is actually a Swiss company and it is pronounced Katadine. This company started out in the 1800s making ropes down the street in the back of their house in Switzerland, and it is pronounced Mammut. This brand name most people don't even try to pronounce, but it's pretty easily pronounced as Cool. This Italian shoemaker is a brand that I actually started out mispronouncing because I believed it was called a Solo, but it is actually pronounced Oslo. That same shoe manufacturer actually uses these soles, and they are pronounced Vibrams. A fairly new company to this scene of mispronounced company names, this one is pronounced Kanak. This sandal brand has probably been one of the most contested pronunciations throughout their entire history. Most people mispronounced a name for so long that I've actually heard people say that they actually changed it when they became popular to sound more pretentious. But no, they've always been and always will be called Tevas. This brand has the unfortunate tendency to be called a mushroom, people pronounce it Morel, but it is actually pronounced Merrill. And last but not least, this crazy one. It has a sweetest pronunciation that if I tried to pronounce it, I would probably strain my tongue. But it's American distributors refer to it as Fjallraven. And that's it, short and sweet. How many of those have you been mispronouncing your entire life? It's okay, we've all done it. So I hope you took this as a fun thing and not too personal. And as always, keep hiking on. <laughs>